it is going to be a hot weekend in Portland. Speaking of hot, it's, it's a little warm in here, isn't it, Rachel? <laughs> Jamie, half your eyebrow is missing. Oh no. I'm so sorry, just a second. No. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry. For crying out loud, we are live. Phil, switch to Rachel. So, the weather is going to be 87 degrees and mostly dry. The good news is it'll start to cool off in the evening. And cut. That was so embarrassing. I thought I was going to get fired. You know how much they care about books here. Yeah. What happened anyway? Uh, it's hard to explain. See, most makeup products don't work for me because I have this skin condition called rosacea. That's what all these red spots are all over my face. Everyone thinks it's acne or a sunburn, but in reality- Jamie, I just took a lot of heat for your little mess up back there. So will you please learn how to do your makeup? Oh, I know how to do my makeup, Ron. The problem is the product. I have this skin condition. You see- I don't care. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, all right? Our girls need to have a certain look. Oh, and by the way, if you go out this weekend, will you please put on some sunscreen? I do not want you to get another sunburn on your face. There's a certain look our girls need to have. Can you believe he said that to me? Did you tell him about your rosacea? I tried to, but he didn't care. He's part of that toxic mainstream thinking that makes every girl feel like they need to meet this perfect, impossible to achieve, photoshopped level of beauty. Like this. What about the imperfect girls with skin problems? Like me. Well, honey, I hate to disagree with you, but even with your red spots and all, I still think you're perfect. That is why I just married you. Thank you, Paolo. But seriously, why can't someone start a makeup company that uses models who look like real girls and makes products for women with real problems? Maybe then I wouldn't have my producer breathing down my neck. Well, here's the thought. What if that someone is you? What do you mean? Well, you always talk about how the makeup on the market doesn't work for you, right? Yeah. Well, imagine how many girls there are out there that feel the same way. So why don't you create your own makeup that markets real women? And makes every girl feel like they're beautiful. Wow, maybe that's it. It Cosmetics. It has a nice ring to it, huh? It does. Jamie, we're 30 minutes to air. Why aren't you ready? Oh, don't worry. It doesn't take me that long to do my makeup. Ah, uh, well, maybe that's the problem. I'm sorry? Well, let me make it clear to you. Maybe if you spent a little bit more time on your makeup, we wouldn't have disasters like we had last week. And by the way, what is going on with your face? Did you get another sunburn? I told you to wear sunscreen. It's not a sunburn, Ron. You see, I You know what? I don't want to hear it, okay? What I want you to do is spend more time doing your makeup so that our viewers do not have to look at that. You know, people like you are the reasons why girls don't feel beautiful about themselves. What are you talking about? So what if I have red spots all over my face? And so what if I have half an eyebrow missing on air? People need to see that because that is real. Not a flawless photoshopped face like this. Uh -huh. Okay, well, this is the look that we want. People want their news from flawless, beautiful faces, not from people who have a gross skin condition. No, 
Do not do that. Do not make me out to be the bad guy, all right? This is the world that we live in, Jamie. Well, it's not the world I live in. Not anymore. Not after today. What does that mean? I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. My husband and I are going to start a makeup company that makes every girl feel beautiful. Not like the way you have just made me feel. <laughs> so, you think that anybody is going to buy makeup from somebody who looks like you? Well, good luck. Jamie leaves with more passion than ever to change the way the world looked at beauty. Using the last of their savings, Jamie and Paulo start their own cosmetics brand with the mission of making every girl feel beautiful. Jamie tests dozens of different formulas, trying to find ingredients that are actually healthy and work on every skin type. She spends months and months testing different samples, but no matter how many samples she tries, she always finds something wrong. That is, until one day, she finally figures out the perfect formula. This is it. This is it! Hey, what's it? I found a formula that works. Look, it stays. My eyebrow stays on. Wow, that's amazing, honey. This is so exciting. And good timing too, because we are almost out of money. Okay, so now that we have a product, what's next? We have to get it in stores. I'm going to call all the retailers and tell them how amazing our formula is and send them a few samples. That is brilliant. I am so proud of you, honey. You do think that the retailer's gonna wanna buy our product, right? They would have to be crazy not to. A couple weeks later, Jamie finds herself about to meet with one of the largest makeup retailers in the world. Jamie, they're ready for you. Okay, thank you. You got this. Good luck, sweetheart. Hello, everyone. I'm Jamie Kern Lima. Hey. Hi there. Hi, good to meet you. I am so excited to meet Hi, I'm Jamie. Well, I don't have all day. Of course. I'm so sorry. So, this product is our Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a concealer, and I have a feeling your customers are going to love it, especially if they have skin issues, like me. The before is without any makeup on, and you can clearly see the red spots from the rosacea. And this after is just one application of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. You can't see any of the spots at all. Wow, so this is just after one application? Yes, incredible, right? You thought it would be a good idea to use yourself as the model? Yes, well, that is part of my mission. You see, the makeup industry uses these perfect Photoshop standards of what beauty should be, but that's not real. That makes girls feel insecure about themselves, like they're not beautiful enough because they don't look like this. So that's why I want to use real girls with real skin problems as the face of our brand to not just change makeup, but to change how the world views beauty. That way, every girl can feel like she is beautiful too. Because she is. Hey, 
the gate too. This is amazing. Thanks. Well, there was plenty more. <laughs> would want to buy beauty products from someone who looks like you. Oh, well, yes, because I think women can relate. Oh. <laughs> I've seen enough. The truth is, makeup companies advertise with models who look like this because that is what sells. You may have a good product, but if you actually want to sell any of it, then I suggest you fall into line and do the same. But I really believe, look, I don't make the rules. This is just the world in which we live. Have a nice day. Babe, please open the door. It was so embarrassing. She was just sitting there laughing at me. You know, I tried my best to hold everything in, but I just wanted to explode. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. But that's just one person's opinion, that's all. No one else has even agreed to meet with us, and we still don't have any sales. I don't know what to do. It's okay, honey. At least we tried our best, right? We tried our best? What are you talking about? We can't give up now? Look, this isn't easy for me either, all right? I always try to be strong for you, but everyone has already said no. Well, sometimes no just means not yet. We're going to figure this out. I know, but we also have to be realistic. We're almost completely out of money. We're not going to be able to survive like this much longer. Look, maybe I can go back to my old job and you can go back to the TV station. What? After how that producer treated me? Absolutely not. <sighs> Look, no one said that this was going to be easy. It's not like we're just trying to sell makeup. We're not? No, we're trying to sell a vision. A vision of a new beauty industry that's different than the one now. So are you really surprised that someone in the beauty industry doesn't like our idea? I guess I never really thought about it like that. We have to keep going. We can't give up now. This is bigger than all of us. This is for all the women who have ever been told that they aren't beautiful enough. By the media, by society, or even by a boss. We can't let those women down now. Wait, what are you doing? I'm making us coffee. We have work to do. And that's the man I fell in love with. Jamie keeps trying to meet with different beauty retailers and department stores to get them interested in their product, but she keeps getting told no over and over again. But whenever she starts to feel discouraged, she remembers why she started in the first place and decides to keep going. Eventually, she meets with the TV shopping channel. After some consideration, Jamie's given the chance to sell her product on live television. She couldn't believe it.
Remind me again how this works. We get 10 minutes in front of the cameras. That's it. If we don't sell at least 6,000 units in that time, we don't get invited back. And considering we spent our last dollar on inventory, we'll probably lose a house, if not starve to death too. But hey, no pressure. Jamie. Hi, I'm Katrina, the home shopping consultant. I don't work for the network, but I got tons of experience. Let's talk about the models you want to use. Oh, I brought my own. This is Gina and Susan. Sweetheart, those aren't models. But don't worry, I got you covered. Ladies? Now these are our models. Aren't they beautiful? You should use them. Trust me, you'll sell more, dear. What do you think, honey? I mean, she's helped a lot of people be successful here. I appreciate it, but we won't be needing them. And I'm actually going to use myself as a model, too. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. You? <laughs> a model? <laughs> no, no one's ever going to buy anything from someone who looks like you. No offense, but that's just the way of the world. Well, maybe you wouldn't bet on me. But sometimes in life, we have to bet on ourselves. Well, fine. What do I know? I've only been in the business for 15 years. Ladies. Okay. It's showtime. You ready? I think so. Okay, and remember, 10 minutes, all you got. And if you don't sell out. If we don't sell out, I'm not coming back. I know. All right. Now I'm just checking one last time. Are you sure you don't want to use their models? I mean, the expert was really adamant. Maybe she's right. Maybe that's just the way the world works. Well, maybe it's time to change the world. Jamie goes in front of the cameras determined to sell out all of her products. When the timer begins, she shares her vision for a new type of beauty products made for everyday women. And then she does the bravest thing she's ever done before. She puts pictures of herself showing her bare skin and rosacea for over 100 million people to see. She has no idea if anyone's even gonna call to buy her products. But then, a phone rings. And then another one rings. And then soon, all of the phones start ringing. Before the 10 minutes were up, she saw the two words that would change her life forever. That's it. We have completely sold out every shade in stock. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe Amazing this. Amazing job. <laughs> Is this me when I go on bankrupt? I sure hope so. Jamie gets invited to come back and keep selling her products. As time goes on, she returns to the show over and over again. Eventually, she becomes the number one top-selling beauty brand on the entire network. After several years, her company It Cosmetics gets acquired by L'Oreal, making Jamie one of the richest self-made American women in the country. Jamie ends up becoming an inspirational speaker, touring all over the world and even launching her own best-selling book. But most importantly, she succeeds in her mission to change the world. 
Jamie? Oh my gosh, it's really you. Um, I just read your book. Would you mind signing it for me? Of course, of course. Who should I make it out to? Sandra. Thank you, by the way, for giving me a feeling I haven't felt before. Oh wow, what feeling is that? Beautiful. You have rosacea. Yes. And all my life, I thought I wasn't pretty like the other girls I'd see with clear skin on TV. And then I saw your face on TV. And it looked like me. So thank you for making me and every girl feel like they're beautiful. You are beautiful. I want you to do something every single day, okay? When you look in the mirror, instead of seeing what's wrong, I want you to see what's right, which is everything. Ron, <laughs> hello, what are you doing here? Hello, Jamie. This is my granddaughter. She's a big fan. She buys all of your products. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry about how I treated you back then. I, I was wrong. Thank you. Not just for me, thank you for her. Honey, look who it is. Do you remember? She's the head buyer from... Yes, of course. Hi. Hello, Jamie. Congratulations on all your success. Listen, I was thinking we could distribute your products in our stores. What do you say? <sighs> sure, let's do it. Just like you said, sometimes no, just means not yet. Mr. Yes, Reedy, with pineapple, just how you like it. Oh, um, thanks, Anna. But Coach doesn't want us having anything heavy. Yeah, he needs us in tip-top shape for next week's game. Mm -hmm. Yo, speaking of that, we got to test out our new Air Jordans on the court after school. Today. <laughs> yeah. See how they hold up. ka -chow. Ooh. I'll go ahead and uh, text Robbie right now, see if he's down for some two-on-two. Yes, yeah, yeah, so do that, do that. Just imagine that one day we're going to be sponsored by Nike. <laughs> Get to wear the shoes for free. Yes. Better yet, imagine one day we'll be getting the checks from Nike. Ooh, yes, show me the money. Justin, I thought me and you were going to hang out after school. Um, it's not me and you. It's you and I. Sorry, you, you know what I meant. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Um, it's not a big deal if I just hang with the boys instead, right? No, but aren't you supposed to get that decision letter from Cornell any day? I want to be there with you when you open it. Cute, Justin. Plus, we still have to figure out how we're going to do the long distance thing if we really want it to work out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Babe, we have plenty of time to figure all that out. I'll be moving to New York, not Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know that. We'll but... cross that bridge when we get there, Hannah. Can't we just enjoy the time that we have? Yeah, but why can't we just... Okay, so then let's not worry about it. And let's make the best of it. Oh, um, uh, Robbie just texted me. Yeah, uh, he said a hoop just opened up. You guys down? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Wait, but what about lunch, guys? Yeah, I'm sorry, I know. Cl clean it up for us, though. Um, you can just eat lunch by yourself. And besides, don't you have to worry about the costumes for the drama club or something? Yeah, but if I don't see you after school, when are we gonna hang out? We'll connect. I'll text you later. Enjoy that pineapple. Hey, Hannah. Did you get a chance to finish the Mercutio costume for Kevin last night? Yes. There you go. And I should have the Juliet one done after this weekend. Dude, this is amazing. Just like all your work. Oh, thanks. I decided to pad stitch the under collar here by hand, and then I added extra layers of cotton for the shoulder pads. I am so happy with the way it turned out. <laughs> uh, I actually have to talk to Justin. Um, I'll text you later. Ooh, here comes Queen Buzzkill. Hey, babe. Ooh. You never texted back. What, what happened last night? Oh yeah, sorry. 
Uh, we were busy celebrating. I got into Cornell. Really? That's amazing. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, I I'm gonna go air up the ball. Me too. <laughs> What's with them? Nothing. We're just stressed out about our game next week. Well, at least the biggest stress is over with now. Oh my god, I can't believe you did it. After all those nights staying and studying, we can finally make up for the time lost. Mm -hmm. And now that we know Cornell is a for sure thing, we can start planning for the future. Wait, oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, about that. Justin. So, what's going on? Okay, um, I've been thinking, and I don't think it's fair to either of us to try and do this long distance thing. What do you mean? Well, you're gonna be a senior in high school, and I'm gonna be in college. Yeah, but it'll only be a year. And then I'll be in the city for fashion school and we can be- Come on, Hannah. Let's be serious. Do you really think you have the grades to get into fashion school? Last time I checked, you only had a 3.2 GPA and got what? An 1100 on your SAT? Okay, well the admissions panel takes your portfolio into consideration more than anything. And I've done every costume for the drama club, the marching band outfits, the Yeah, okay, but any school that doesn't take your grades into consideration probably isn't a school worth getting into. I'm a legacy at Cornell. And even I had to maintain a 4.0 GPA and get a 1520 on my SAT. Just to have a shot. What are you saying? I'm saying that even if you did somehow manage to get into a real school, I need to be with somebody that takes their future seriously. Be realistic. What are the odds of you having a successful career with a fashion degree? Well, it's more unorthodox, but... Listen, <laughs> don't get me wrong. You're great. Gorgeous. Probably the hottest girlfriend I'll ever have. But I need somebody that brings something more to the table. Something more than just... <laughs> random doodles. Someone who can actually get into a school like Cornell. Not Parsons. Are you breaking up with me? I just don't see this being a long-term thing. You understand, right? You said we'd be together forever. You gave me this promise ring. Well, whatever is meant to be, will be. Who knows, maybe one day we'll both end up in New York together. But for now, this is just how it's gotta be. I'm sorry. Thanks for doing this. I know hemming my dress for senior sock hop is a weird favor to ask. Oh, not at all. I'm happy to help. <laughs> uh, so are you gonna go? I don't think so. I have no one to go with. What? Please, I know a million guys who would die to take you. You're one of the prettiest girls in school. <sighs> Thanks, but there's only one person I really wanna go with and he's already moved on to someone else. Whatever happened is his loss. Is it? I mean, I did a deep dive on her. She was class president, prom queen, and now she's pre-med at Cornell. And to top it off, she has that new Dior saddlebag that's sold out everywhere. She's literally perfect. Who <laughs> wants perfect? You're great the way you are. And anyone would be lucky to date you. Anyone isn't Justin. He hasn't talked to me in months. Clearly, this is the type of girl he wants to be with. You know, if I could just be more like her. Oh my gosh. Wait. That's totally it. What? I just have to prove that I'm serious about my future and get into some hoity-toity college. Then, Justin will want me back. And not go to Parsons? I don't know, Han. This seems like a lot of effort for a guy who dumped you five minutes after getting into his dream school. And you know what they say, don't make someone a priority when all you are is an option to them. And please don't change your future just for him. Well, I don't have to go, I just have to get in. But there is one small problem. Which is? 
I don't have the grades or the SAT scores to get into Cornell. Maybe he was right all along. Maybe I'm just not good enough or smart enough. Uh, no. Okay, listen. Since you've been helping me and the drama club out so much, maybe I can return the favor. Even though I hate their ugly mascot. What do you mean? I mean, I've been tutoring since seventh grade and I got a 1550 on my SATs last year. Are you serious? This isn't just a pretty face, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you wanna get into an Ivy, we have to start yesterday. You need at least a 3.75 on your GPA and at least a 1500 on your SATs. It won't be easy, but the reward will be worth it. Are you up for it? Yes, yes, I'll do whatever it takes to get Justin back. Well, no, by reward I mean you getting into... You know what? Never mind. That works too. <laughs> okay. okay. Dress in this? Yes. 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 Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, close. This would be three to the power of two. Very good, T. Great job. You're doing amazing, pair of you. Very good. Amazing. That's so good. Girls, you're doing great. Alright, you're gonna have to complete this page and this page. The passage indicates that the assumption made by gift givers in lines 41 to 44 may be A. Insincere, B. Unreasonable, C. Incorrect, or D. Substantiated. B. Alright! <laughs> Next question. Hala, I'm so proud of you. Very good. get better news than I did. I'm so sorry you didn't get into Yale. It makes no sense. That's okay. Let's just focus on you right now. You've been working so hard for this. Okay. The moment of truth. My whole future rests in the next page. Oh God, I can't do it. Okay, I will. Well? I'm sorry, Han. Are you kidding? I got rejected. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to start embracing the big red bear as your mascot because you got in! Oh my god. I got into Cornell! Oh my god, I <laughs> Do you know what this means? You can study fashion in an Ivy League school? Oh yeah, that too. But I can also get Justin back. <laughs> right, Justin. What? It's just, I know this started off as a way for you to prove something to him, but along the way, I think you proved something to someone more important. Yourself. <laughs> and besides, do you really want to date someone who has a new girlfriend every month? Justin doesn't have a girlfriend. Him and Valerie are just friends. I don't think you saw the photo he posted today. Her name's Erica. I already did the research for you. She graduated valedictorian and her oh, family- Oh, so owns... I don't want to hear it. Alright. Well, congrats again. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'll see you in class. Hannah? Justin. Uh, hold on. Hi. Um, long time no see. How have you been? Uh, good. What are you doing here? Oh, you probably didn't see my Instagram. I got into Cornell. 
fashion design and management major. You got into Cornell? Yeah. I just moved in a few weeks ago. I live in McClintock. What about you? Where do you live? Oh, um, I'm actually moving back home. I sort of flunked out. Got wrapped up in the college parties and all the distractions. I'm really sorry. Yeah. It's all good. Well, good luck with everything. Wait, would you maybe want to go out to lunch or something? Been thinking about you a lot lately and I feel like I really messed up. I'd love to be able to take you out again. Aren't you with, um, what's her name? Erica or Valerie? I <laughs> I've lost track. What? No, that was just a fling. Nothing serious. Nothing like we were. So what do you say? That's sweet. But I can't. I'm busy. New boyfriend? No. New job. I don't just go to school. I work at Nike. And I am running late, so... Wait, what? Do you have like a free internship or something? No. I get paid. I work for their design department. I come up with ideas for new shoes. Kind of like these. Pretty cool, right? Wow. I've always wanted to work with Nike. I guess that won't be happening now that I'm off the team. Well, I, I gotta go. Um, tell your parents I say hi. Wait, what about dinner? Maybe next week? Sorry, Justin. But I'm not gonna make someone a priority when all I am is an option to them. So, me and you, oh, sorry, you and I will never happen. See ya. Oh my god, how did that feel? Oh my god, even 10,000 times better than I ever would have imagined. Yeah. I'm so glad you're at Cornell with me. Oh, me too. <laughs> and you know, I'm actually warming up to the bear. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Man, you're not gonna believe this. Check out the girl I'm talking to. No way you're talking to this girl. <laughs> okay, how did all this happen? I met her online and she seems to really like me. We have a lot in common. She's even a vegetarian too. <laughs> she wants to FaceTime me. So? Wow, there's no teachers around. Answer. No, no I, I can't. I. I don't want her to know what I look like. What do you mean? Doesn't she already know what you look like? Haven't you sent her a picture? Or FaceTimed her before? Um, yeah, about that. I actually sent her a picture of Brad. Brad? <laughs> Not so loud. I... <sighs> she only dates guys that look like him. This is wrong on, on so many levels. You know what this is called? Catfishing. Why would you do that? You know I'm super insecure. I mean, look at me. She'd never like me. But, but besides, I didn't completely lie. I'm using my name and still act like myself. I just look like Brad now. Come on, man. If she's into you, she won't care what you look like. You know what they say? It's not about what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside that matters. You know who probably came up with that? Someone really ugly. <sighs> oh, okay, I gotta go. Just promise me you'll be honest with her. Yeah. I'll think about it. Okay. No, I swear. Saoirse Ronan could make the worst movie worth watching. She is the pinnacle of phenomenal acting. Uh, did you ever see her interview about Timothy and how like- Oh yeah, how she was so excited to break his heart in Little Women. Be because he broke hers in Lady Bird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was hilarious. But I mean, Greta Gerwig. Oh, d don't even get me started. Like glass ceiling? Broken. She's a genius. Agreed. So what's your biggest pet peeve? Definitely people chewing food with their mouth open. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. I hate that. Okay, okay, time for rapid fire questions. Beyond or impossible? Beyond. Beyond. Uh, skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. snowboarding. <laughs> 
Okay, coffee or tea? Tea. tea. <sighs> coffee is so bad for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really love talking to you. I just can't believe that I met somebody Everybody's so nice and so good looking. It's actually really hard to find. All my exes have only been good looking. I know. I, I see their pics. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to delete those, but... What I'm trying to say is... You are the whole package. <laughs> that's, uh... That's me, I guess. Hey, so, uh, I tried to FaceTime you earlier. Oh, uh, sorry, I was in class. Okay. Is it cool if I FaceTime you now? Uh, no, uh, I, I mean... Not right now. Why not? I have this huge pimple, like... In the middle of my forehead, it's super gross. Okay, well, <laughs> I seriously doubt that anything could make you look bad, I mean... <laughs> I know what you look like. You're a 10 out of 10. I actually showed all my friends and they're all really jealous. Come on, please. I've never gone to FaceTime you before. I, um... Uh, huh? Uh, what's that, Mom? Oh, I I'm coming! Uh... Sorry, I actually have to eat dinner. Uh, she's making my favorite uh, eggplant lasagna. Mm. But I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Wait, uh... There's actually something I wanted to tell you. You know that surprise that I told you about? Oh. I'm flying out to see you. What? <laughs> you are? Yeah. Yeah, my dad has to go for work, so I thought I would just come along. I'm really excited to see you. Me too. Uh, well, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. You enjoy. Thank you. I, I, I don't know what to do. She's flying all the way out here to see me. Well, you should have lied to her in the first place. Not helping. Wait, I figured it out. Yeah? What's the move? I'm just gonna ghost her. What? I thought you really liked this girl. What other choice do I have? The obvious one. You come clean. I can't do that. She's gonna take one look at me and not want to be with me. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, I'll lose the bow tie. But other than that, you're not that bad, dude. You're being too hard on yourself. Is that her? Yeah. She said, on our way to the airport, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Seriously, you're not going to respond? And say what? That you're not the person you've been pretending to be. But what if she stops talking to me? Then you're no worse off. Are you? Nice bow tie. Thanks. See? Even that's not so bad. My friend here is low on confidence. What? Why? I go out with you. If you want. Uh, uh I... Can't. I, I I have a girlfriend. I, I think it's it's complicated and Ugh, okay. Uh, I'll see you in school tomorrow. If I don't have a panic attack and die before then. Uh, hi, sorry. I'm, I'm Dude, for... this is so wrong. She's probably looking everywhere for you. Good luck trying to find me. She doesn't even know what I look like. Wait a minute. Is that her? Oh, wow, this is happening. It's too late to run? Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, uh hi. Sorry, um, I'm looking for this guy I've been talking to. Uh, he's just not answering his phone, but his name is Jason, Jason Glass. And somebody told me that that's you. I don't know if you guys have, like, the same name or something. Uh, oh, uh, probably. You have the same voice. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I had something stuck in my throat. This, uh, this is, uh, my real voice. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I'll just try calling him again. Hopefully he answers. How about some tea? You can't have little teas? Thank you. I'm really, 
really sorry, Margot. Sorry about which part? About lying to me about who you were or about ghosting me after I flew across the country for you? I didn't lie to you about who I am, though. J just the way I look. I know, I know. Not great either. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? Were you just gonna keep leading me on forever? No, I mean, not at all. I. Oh my gosh. That's the guy that you're pretending to be, right? Yeah, he goes to my school. Do you want me to introduce you to him? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Brad. What's up, man? I, I was just wondering, have you met my good friend Margo here? She's visiting from New York. No, I haven't. Welcome to Cali. Thank you. Uh, I was actually heading out if you uh, want to take my chair. Sure, if that's okay with the pretty lady. Yeah, that's okay. So, how long are you in town for? Uh, just a couple of days. Maybe I could take you out while you're here. There's a really nice restaurant close by. Yeah, I'd like that. Can I get you anything? Coffee. Just a regular coffee kind of guy, huh? Yeah. Sorry I'm late. I was getting ready. You wore slides. Which part of this took so long? OK, I'm not going to lie. I've been really constipated, and I finally let out a mean one. I could knock it off the toilet. OK, that's too much information. You're all dressed up. Oh, yeah. Um, you said it was a nice place, and I didn't want to be underdressed. Um, I didn't know it was casual, so. It is a nice place. It's, it's definitely my go-to date spot. So you bring all your dates here? More or less. Good afternoon. Always great to see you, B-Rad. Looking good as always, Natalie. <laughs> what can I get started for you guys? Um, I will... I'll get my usual. Of course. And what can I get for you? Uh, I'll just have the potato gnocchi, please. All right. Put that in for you. Thank you. So, how many girls have you brought here? Uh, why? Oh, I was just wondering, since you have a usual... How about we don't talk about that? I don't want you to get jelly. Right. So, uh, what are you into? Um, I really like movies. I'm very into Saoirse Ronan right now. Who? Um, Saoirse Ronan. She was in Grand Budapest Hotel. Lady Bird, if you saw that. Little Women. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what I love... That's the Atlanta show about the really short women, right? No. What about poetry? No. No way. No, that's so boring. <laughs> Wait. Are you into that stuff? Yeah. Alrighty, here is the gnocchi for ya. And here is the filet. You too. Thank you. Enjoy. So, how's your food? Really good. How's your... It's great. You wanna try a bite? Oh, no thanks, I'm actually a vegetarian. You're one of those. Excuse me? Like, you're one of those people that makes people watch videos about animals being killed and you protest outside of steakhouses. No, 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 no. It's, it's a personal choice. You can eat whatever you want. Yeah, because I'm not a vegetarian. I was gonna say you can eat whatever you want because it's your body. Is there anything else I can get for you? Thanks. I'll take a cup of coffee, please. Hey, sweetheart. How was your date? Uh, I left before we could order dessert. Oh, I'm sorry, Margo. It just sucks, you know? I mean, I thought that I was coming out here to meet somebody that I really liked. 
But Jason Boy seemed like a really nice guy from how you described him. I mean, yeah, except that he's a liar. You're right. It's never okay to lie. But the two of you seem to really hit it off right from the start. I guess. <sighs> Poor guy. Poor guy? I just mean that it's sad that he's so insecure that he felt like he needed to look like someone else in order to be liked. Yeah, I guess I never thought of it like that. And I do have a lot of pictures of my exes on my Instagram, and they all kind of look like Brad. And you decided to go on a date with Brad without knowing anything about him? Yeah, I guess I kind of do have a type. And I probably never would have given Jason a chance, so he just... Not lied to you. He's not a bad-looking kid, in my opinion. Okay, Dad, you're so weird. I'm just saying. There's a reason the two of you clicked and the other guys didn't work out. And it's not because of what's on the outside. Yeah, um, she went out with Brad, so... I'm sure they're happy together. I, I doubt it. Brad's a total meathead. <laughs> What's that? It looks like someone slipped a note in my locker. What's it say? The universe took its time on you, crafted you to offer the world something different from everyone else. It's a Ruby Core poem. Wait, how, how did it get in your locker? I have no idea. I do. Oh, oh, I'll see you later. Margo, uh, what are you doing here? I, if you're looking for Brad, I haven't seen him yet. Uh, uh, no, actually, I was looking for you. Oh, yeah? I realized something after my date with Brad. How was your date? Uh, like a negative 100 out of 10. I'm sorry it didn't go well. Well, um, uh, what did you realize? That Brad wasn't you. I should have been hanging out with the guy that I spent hours talking on the phone with. So, I was thinking that you and I could start over. Are you kidding me? Yes! And I swear I will never, ever, ever lie to you again. I trust you won't. So, dinner tonight? Yeah, I, I know this place with great Beyond Burgers we could go to. Okay. Uh, just on one condition. What's that? You gotta lose the bow tie. <laughs> Look, there's Noah. He's so hot. I heard he rejected Madison to the prom. I wonder who he's gonna ask. Uh, me? Duh. He's the quarterback and I'm captain of the cheerleading team. It only makes sense. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm so sorry, Angela. It was an accident. You better be sorry, wheelchair Wendy. Don't they have special lanes for people like you? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Noah. I'll talk to you later. All right, good luck. Hey, Noah. You look handsome today, and I love that jacket. Hey, thanks, Angela. So, prom's coming up soon. Uh -huh. Have you figured out who you're taking? No, not yet, but I did have someone special in mind. Oh, how cute. So, does that mean you're asking? Oh. Oh. Can't you do anything right? Uh, I'm I'm so sorry. Um, would, would one of you mind helping me reach that? No. Just because your legs don't work doesn't mean your arms don't work. I'll help you, Wendy. Thanks, Noah. It's not a problem. Hey, um, I know this is probably a long shot, but, uh... Since prom is coming up, would you want to go with me? <laughs> you have to be kidding. You really think the captain of the football team is going to go to prom with someone like you? Well, I... Angela, that was really mean. Oh, come on. I'm just being honest. So why don't you walk, I mean, wheel your way on out of here? How can you say something like that to her? Come on, why do you keep sticking up for her? Because I know what it feels like to be in her shoes. 
Let me see. A few years ago, I took a really bad hit while I was playing football. I was on the ground and I couldn't get up. When I got to the hospital, the doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to walk for a really long time. So I ended up in a wheelchair. But do you know what hurt even more? How other people would treat me. They'd stop and stare and make me feel like I was beneath them. So you see, I know what it feels like to be in a wheelchair. And Wendy doesn't deserve to be treated that way. Wow, I had no idea you went through any of that. I'm so sorry, Noah. You don't owe me an apology. You owe it to Wendy. Just next time before you judge someone in a wheelchair, try sitting in one. Thanks for going to prom with me. Oh, hey, Wendy. You look really pretty in that dress. Oh, uh, thanks. So do you. Look, I've been meaning to talk to you. I feel really bad about how I treated you a few days ago. Do you think you could forgive me? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Of course. Thanks. If you don't have a date, you can come hang out with us. Oops. Oh, uh, actually... These are for you? Wow, you look absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. No, 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 please. Oh. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> How's everything going? Oh. Um, good. Oh, oh, come on! Uh, we are not doing any charity work here, okay? The more you cut corners, the more you profit. Remember that. Is it really the right thing to do? Who made the rule? Here. You did, sir. Clean it. So oh. then what I say goes. <laughs>